So in this video we'll be taking off a connecting rod off of this piston obviously you guys probably see most of them are already off. Uh, I'm doing an A2, A3 build. Uh, so I'm going to be using A2 pistons on A3 rods. So I'll be showing you guys how to take the rods off of this. This is an uh, A3 piston. Um, so we'll be dealing with that. So I'll give you guys a close up on what's. All right, so for these uh, pistons, I'm sure you guys know there's um, two applications of pistons, uh, pins. So there is a press fit and floating. So these are floating. Uh, they're held by uh, two. Uh, you can call them sir clips or clips. I'll show you one of them right here. So they're holding um, by these bad boys, and you. Uh, have to pry them out and then you can continue on tapping out the pins um, these shouldn't be too hard as a press fit so you hopefully won't need to heat them up and expand the metal and need a press it shouldn't be too bad um, hopefully I know it probably varies on different application how hard that how long they've been in there or catastrophic failure you know there's a lot of there's lots of factors but in general they shouldn't be too hard so um I'll show you one of the a2 here i haven't fully pressed this up i'm going to press i'm going to take it out fully after i finish this but um like i say you take the clips out and just hit uh what i will be using doing this is a 5 8 socket um, don't use your best socket guys, just use something you could um, hit about and um, won't feel too bad afterwards. Um, this little prying tool here, here I have, uh, you can get these from Harbor Freight, um, come in real handy. Or if the clip is too hard to get out, because sometimes they're, they're a bitch, you probably need something else, probably more fatter. So I use this um, Torx head, small Torx head right here. And um, most and importantly, oh, not forgetting you need a hammer or a mallet to hit them out um, and most importantly guys safety tool goggles uh, these plin these these clips will fly without no one's business so <laughs> make sure you get glasses on and if you don't want to use glasses on because I, I, I'll be honest I didn't use glasses um, you want to when you take them out face them towards the ground they'll, they'll keep them towards your face so that's that point so as let's much start. as possible hopefully the light isn't on the view so this clip right here the two open ends there are two open ends obviously on the clip so it's not a full circle we want to get one of the ends lining up with this notch right here so we'll be able to pry upwards and hopefully run out of the tool across the bottom of it to slowly pry it up safely so it won't like I said fly but you want to have your hands over it or having it point downwards because it's going to fly anyways so like I said that's the aim there's two open ends and we want to at least get one of them by this notch so we can pry it out alright guys so now I'm going to slowly try and get find, find my ends I found one and slowly just move it to to the end of that open notch as we said earlier and they're all, they'll fight against you it's, this shrimp probably was slowly moving all right so now I have on the ends slowly move further have one on the ends at least lining up with the the notch we're speaking about here and I'm gonna slowly pry if you guys can see that's rising rise up a bit so what I'm gonna do now is fit my finger over the part that's rising it's already starting to if you guys can see that it's already starting to protrude out some bit it's already rising. What I'm gonna do now is try to feed the two that actually flew out. Now if you guys heard that, but it just flew out. 
So we're gonna uh, obviously, if you don't want to reuse your uh, clips, you can order some new ones if you don't care where they flew off to. But you want to keep your clips. You want to keep them downwards. So I have that one aligned. I'm gonna pry it up. See it showing upwards. Now this time I'm gonna face this one downwards. You guys are not gonna see, but uh, see how far the two is. This thing is on the tension, so all right, that's where we're at. Just feed it. All right, that one flew out as well. It's right here because I kept it at least a bit towards the ground. So this is right here. So now we're gonna hit it. Let me see, guys. It, it will, it will come out. Need a nose pliers or whatever, just 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 twist it out. And voila, it's out. And you can just hit hit it with a, maybe like a screwdriver or something. Like the end of a screwdriver and just tap it out. Or find something else. And there's one piston off of the rod. 